Hello everyone. First of all, I would like you to pay attention to these three images. In the first one, the player is wearing some K-tape. In the second one, the player is doing some foam rolling. And in the third one, apparently, the swimmer had undergone some copy treatment before his big game. So those techniques, and the, or, or rather the treatments, normally being used for repairing the connective tissues, which is very, very important for enhancing the, the performances of athletes. So this is one of the examples why connective tissues are very, very important for tissue activities. With that being said, let me introduce my research work on imaging and image processing pipeline for enhanced connective tissue MRI. I'm Ranjika Pereira from Auckland Bioengineering Institute. Now, let's dive down a little bit more into my research work. So connective tissues are very important for force transmission of the body and mainly it comprises on tendon as well as thin tissues like aponeurosis and the fascia. Connective tissues are very hard to image using normal image modalities because of short tissue relaxation properties of the tissue themselves. And this is especially true for uh, aponeurosis as well as the fascia because of their thin structure. But we could understand the fascia and the aponeurosis better if we could image it in high resolution and in vivo. So as a solution, and hence the main goal of my research work is to come up with some proper MRI sequences as well as some image processing protocols in order to do this task successfully. Currently, uh, I'm using some advanced MRI protocol called Dual Echo UT image sequence to acquire the images of fascia and the aponeurosis. Although limitations still exist in UTE or rather than sequence, I'm using some advanced image processing techniques in order to uh, enhance the features of the acquired images. So during this post representation, I'm uh, presenting like four different techniques I have used so far which are called as dual echo image subtraction, region specific scaling, FFTH detection, and K-means clustering. With the help of these four uh, Im imaging image techniques, I have been able to uh, localize the, uh, the fascia and the aponeurosis successfully, as well as measure the widths of those particular tissues accurately as well. If you want to know more information about my research work, please come and join Post number PA43. I'll see you there. Thank you very much.